Hi, this is Austin from the QuickBooks team. Reminding customers to pay overdue invoices is hard to manage and easy to forget even though it is a vital part of your business. QuickBooks Online Advanced helps solve this problem with workflows. Let's go over how to set up a workflow that automatically reminds your customers when they are late, or almost late, on a payment. We'll also show you how you can customize each step so you can control what gets sent out and when. To start, select Workflows. We want to set up a payment reminder, so let's choose that workflow here. Then select Create. By default, QuickBooks suggests to remind customers one day after the due date of an invoice. For our example, let's set up one that goes out three days before the due date. It's a useful reminder, and you can see how much you can customize your flow. We'll call this reminder Payment Due in three days. Right now, this workflow applies to all customers, but if you only want QuickBooks to remind some customers, choose their names from this list. QuickBooks uses each customer's history to suggest who might need this reminder the most. The ones at the top are most likely to need it. We want our reminder to go out before the due date, so we can set that up by changing the settings here and here. Even after this workflow is set up, you're still free to create additional workflows warning customers that they're overdue, or even multiple overdue notices for different numbers of days after the invoice's due date. QuickBooks sends the reminder to your customer's email, but you can add other email addresses or even CCs or BCCs. For instance, you could include your own email here so that you get copies of all the reminders that get sent out. It's important to note that for this workflow to work, you'll need to enter your customer's email addresses in their record on the customer's list. Next, enter the subject of the email you want your customer to receive. QuickBooks uses fields like this to automatically enter the invoice number that is about to be overdue. But the words, is overdue, aren't right for our example. Let's change this to, is almost overdue. Last, set the email your customer receives when an invoice is almost overdue. Again, QuickBooks uses fields like this to enter data from the invoice or the customer records. We need to change some of this for our example, though. Let's get rid of, you have an overdue, and add, is three days from being overdue, after the invoice number. Once you're satisfied with the reminder, select Save and Enable. If you decide to change the trigger or the email that you receive, select Edit. You can also turn this workflow off or delete it. Now you're ready to set up your own customer payment reminders.